And finally, tonight in Silicon Valley, it's not all about just ride-hailing services and food delivery startups. Venture capitalists are also now exploring space for outsized returns. Josh Lipton tells us where the money is going. So far this year, venture capitalists have already committed more than $200 million across 20 space-related deals. That's on top of the more than $2 billion they invested in 2015. The startups that have raised the most money include Elon Musk's private rocket builder SpaceX, OneWeb, which uses satellites to provide high-speed internet access, Blue Origin, the startup founded by Amazon's Jeff Bezos, satellite builder Planet, and Chimeta, a company backed by Bill Gates that sells small satellite antennas. The rise of private spacecraft, big data analytics, cloud computing, as well as the increased efficiency and drop in price of electronic components have all contributed to the growth of these space-related startups. And VCs say interest is only increasing in this market. Believe it or not, Silicon Valley has been known to inspire herd-like behavior. Uh, and I would say that right now we're kind of at the nexus at one of those areas where there's not probably a week that goes by where I don't get outreach from some other uh, institutional investor saying that they're looking for a space investment. There are challenges, though. It will be hard for this industry to really flourish until commercial rocket launches are more frequent and reliable. Also, VCs say there's a shortage of smart software engineers. It's all about software people. I feel like, you know, Mars needs software. <laughs> we need all types of development. It's, um, it's, the, it's the tightest recruiting uh, part, partially because the people who do that could go join other kinds of companies. They could join an electric car company. They could go join Facebook. They could join anything. Still, VCs like Jervitson are excited about the technology to come. For example, he says we are on the cusp of space tourism to the moon and beyond. Given technological advances and the amount of money now supporting these space startups, the stars and the moon might indeed be aligned to make those projections become a reality. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Josh Lipton, San Francisco.